Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm gonna tell you how to use uh, the index and match function with the area and reference option. Uh, it's a very very powerful feature of Excel. Uh, to understand what all it can do let's understand this example first. Well, I have mentioned the names of these electronic products manufacturers, Samsung, Blackberry, and Apple over here. And mentioned in column A are the sales ranges that if a sales amount is between this range, then the discount offered is this. And if the sales range is this for Blackberry, then the discount offered would be this and if the sales range for Apple is this then the discount offer would be this much if you see the sales range is equal or the same in all the three product categories that is Samsung Blackberry and Apple the range is 500 1000 2000 3000 and 5000 however the discount is varying here it is 1 to 5 here is 3 to 7 and in Apple it will it has come to five to nine percent now in this range I have mentioned the name of the item the sale price the sale range amount and I want to calculate the discount now if I want to calculate the discount uh, for in this in with a single formula uh, then to locate the discount Excel would have to go to this column this this area is range to look for Samsung and to look for Blackberry it would have to go to this range and to look for the discount offered by Apple it would have to go to this range so how do we do that well yes it can be done using the index and the match function yes index and match so you see index and match uh, I have already taught this option array row column column number right my index and match formulas 1 to 11 tackle this option of index formula now now I'm telling you about reference row number column number and area number to use this option you have to put in one more bracket sign so now you have to give reference so reference would be the range from where you want to pull up your answer so this is my range one so I lock this because I would be copying this formula downwards man this is my range two reference range two I will again lock this and this is my range 3 I'll again lock this and close the bracket now my all three references range have been selected that done now comma it's asking for a row number for row number I will use the match function and what am I matching I am matching the sale amount comma and where am I matching it from I am matching it from here now we have to keep in mind that all the sale amounts are same for all the categories so we are using this sale amount let us fix this also comma this would be an approximate match yes this would be an, this would be an approximate match so we'll type one bracket close comma now it's asking for a column number we don't require a column number here so we'll skip it simply by typing another comma now it is asking for an area number now yes this is very important now we know that we have three areas three ranges Samsung is one Blackberry is two and Apple is three so I have mentioned them here Samsung is area one Blackberry is area two and Apple is area three so but how do I actually give it in this formula simple I do a VLOOKUP VLOOKUP lookup value is Samsung right whatever is written in the item name comma and where is my lookup array well it is here I have mentioned it here I should have told it to you in the beginning that I've mentioned it over here but still it's not too late right comma two comma zero since it is an abs absolute match bracket close and here's your answer three percent let's copy this answer 
below. Aha, what did I not do? I did not lock. That is what I not that is what I did not do. I did not lock the range. Right? Now I will lock it. Yes. And here's our answer. Let me bold it for you. Samsung, 2,851 rupees, uh, $2,851, pounds, whatever, depending upon which country you are located, my friend. <laughs> uh, and the answer is 3%. Let us see. Yes. 2,000, 3%. We are doing an approximate match, remember. And Blackberry, 4,000. Blackberry, 4,000 should give us 6%. 6% Apple 4400 should give us 8% and the answer is 8% yes it is working cool that, that 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 that's the power of the index and match function using the reference area option there is one more way of doing it across doing it uh, uh, the same example I have mention the range amount range here here because the amount range happens to be the same across all the three product categories and however the discounts are different so I have mentioned the discounts over here and here is my area reference one for Samsung two for Blackberry three for Apple and here if you would like to find it using this system is equal to index bracket open one more bracket open and reference one would be this locket comma reference two would be this locket using f4 comma reference three is this locket bracket close comma now I need to match what do I need to match I need to match the sale amount comma from where do I need to match the sale amount this is the sale amount let's lock it also comma would it be an exact reference or an absolute reference this would be an exact reference so I'll type in one bracket close comma it's asking me for a column number do I need a column number no I do not if it would have been a double lookup yes I would have certainly needed a column number in my next video I'll t tell you how to do a double lookup using this funda and now it's asking for me me for our area number and area number we'll find using the V lookup what are we looking up the name of the product where are we looking it from from this place comma two comma zero I forgot to lock this range let's do a f4 lock this range bracket close one more bracket close and Hollywood one percent Hollywood I need to get my pronunciation right Okay, so here's the answer, and I'm sure it's not wrong. 642, 1% for Samsung. 642, yes, 1% for Samsung. Blackberry, 550, 3%. Blackberry, 550, 3%. Yep, we are there. Apple, 511, 5%. Apple, 511, 5%. Yes, this formula is working. This Excel sheet that you're looking at. Uh, in this video is available for free download on my website myelesson.org you can download it from there to practice and I bet you better do practice this formula it's not that easy and but it's very powerful so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy excel learning my friend